this is also asking a balanced equation in acidic conditions. So let me write this down. Balance in acidic conditions. So again, we have H three A S O three plus I two would give me H three A S O four plus I minus. So again, what we want to do is we want to separate them into our half kind of uh, reactions here. So I have CH three a S O three is going to yield H three A S O four. And then I have I two, which is going to yield I minus here. So let's balance up these guys here. So I'm looking at this here as equation. Um, let's look at the first equation first. So this here is equation one, this is equation two. So let's look, at, let's look at equation one first. So I have H3, so the hyd uh, so again, well, I want to balance everything besides the hydrogen and the oxygens first. So I have arsenic here, which AS, I have one arsenic, one arsenic on the side, which is great. Um, and then now what I want to do is balance out the hydrogen and the oxygen, right? So hydrogens are already balanced here. So I have three hydrogens here and I have three hydrogens here. However, my oxygens are not balanced, right? I have one, I have three oxygens here and four oxygens on the side. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to add a water to this side for us to get four oxygens. So I have H3ASO3 plus 1H2O. This would give me four oxygen in total. Three plus one is four. We're going to yield H3ASO4. However, if we introduce our hydrogens here, I'm going to have to um, balance it out, right? So as you can see here, I have H3 and H2 here, which means three plus two here is five hydrogens here. And I only have three hydrogens on this side. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to add two H pluses on this side for us to balance out the hydrogens here. So as you can see, I have five hydrogens on both sides now, which is great. But now we have another issue, which is the charges, right? The charges here are off, right? I have a two plus charge here and a zero charge here. So I want to make this a, um, a zero charge. So if I want to do that, I simply have to add two electrons to the side to balance out the charges, right? So I can add two electrons to the side. And this will be a balanced um, half reaction for this arsenic part first. And then what I can do now for number two is I can balance out the second half reaction here. So if I two, oh, let me do this in black. I have I two to I minus. So first what I'm gonna do is gonna balance out all the elements that are not hydrogen oxygen. In this case, just, we only have iodine. We have two iodines on the side and one iodine on the side. So we just simply have to add a two to the side to balance out the iodines first. And as you can see here, I have now a two minus charge on this side here and a zero charge here. So I'm gonna have to add electrons to my left side to, for us to balance out those charges. And what I can do is I can add two electrons to the left side, right? So let me modify this. And you can say I can add two electrons to this side here. So now both of these guys, my charges are balanced, right? I have a two minus charge on this side and also a two minus charge on this side. So this is good. So what we can do now is we can look at both our reactions here. We can look at the products. We can look at what what can we what can we cross out here, and as you can see here, we can cross out the electrons, right? So the two electrons can go away from this side, and the two electrons can go away from this side, and I believe that is it for those uh, for that kind of half reaction. So what we can rewrite here is we can rewrite our finally our balanced chemical equation. So we have H three ASO three plus H two O, and then plus our I two here is going to yield H3 ASO4 plus I have two hydrogens here and then plus two I minus CS here plus two I minus CS here and this is going to be my um, balanced chemical equation in acidic conditions so as you can see here let me see if this is just correct so I have H3 ASO3 plus H2O plus I2 yields i believe the question mark is yield h3 aso4 plus 2h plus plus 2i minus so the solution here is correct solution is correct good analysis uh it's or I, i'm gonna say um analysis says somewhat there it wasn't as detailed as the other one solution is i'll just say solution is correct um i believe 
that the question mark is a yield sign instead. So you would have gotten something like, like that or something like that. That would make more sense here. So I have H3 ASO3 plus H2O plus I2 would yield H3 ASO4 plus two I minuses plus two H positives. So this solution here is correct. Thank <laughs> you.